A lawsuit has been filed against Southwest Airlines and Huntley USA after a woman who uses a wheelchair says she made repeated requests for someone to take her to the bathroom at PDX and on board her flight, but she says she was never allowed to go and ultimately wet herself. Now, we first told you about this story last week. Fox 12's Kelsey Watts spoke with that woman's lawyers today. She joins us now with what we've learned in all this, Kelsey. Well, they say Catherine Moonchow was humiliated in the course of what happened to her. She suffered a neurological event similar to a stroke and has limited mobility, so she needs someone to push her wheelchair. But once she's taken to a restroom, they say she is able to use it independently. Her lawyers say she was taking a flight from Portland to St. Louis last year for her daughter's graduation. But through a series of interactions with wheelchair service staff, gate agents, and flight attendants, they say she repeatedly asked to be taken to a suitable restroom, but it never happened. That went on for seven hours, according to the lawsuit, and ultimately led to her wetting herself during the flight. When the plane landed, her lawyer say flight attendants did take her to the restroom in the front of the plane, but then they claim this happened. They then put the chair so that she couldn't close the door to the restroom. So as everybody's deplaning, She's sitting there trying to clean herself up and everybody's watching. Ms. Moonshaw is very interested in trying to help prevent this from occurring to, to other disabled passengers because of um, the indignity she suffered. I mean, to the extent where at one point the flight attendants asked her loudly why she wasn't in adult diapers. They say what happened is inexcusable and a violation of the law under the Air Carrier Access Act, which requires that people with disabilities are given assistance to and from the bathroom. We reached out to Southwest Airlines today but did not hear back. From here, Moonchow's lawyers want a jury to hear the case. There is no dollar figure set just yet. That's something they want the jury to decide, but they are seeking punitive damages and hope that sharing this story will lead to policy changes. Live in studio, Kelsey Watts, Fox 12, Oregon.